On this episode, we talk about a day in the life of Todd, a dancer who changed the game, and why my butt hurts. Hey everybody, and welcome to Finish Friday, the show that helps more creative people change more lives. I am your host, Todd B. from Tennessee, and I wanna talk this week about something that's very dear to me and something I think you guys all need to hear. See, there's this perspective that like with an artist's life, you just sit around and wait for the good ideas to find you, but in my experience, that's not really the case. And I wanna back it up with a story from a different part of my life. Some of you guys know that my wife and I go to spin class a lot, and there was a time where we were going two, three times a week, and then we took a little break. And after two weeks off, I tried to strut back into that same class and give the same level of effort. And frankly, it just wasn't happening. My body felt awkward. I got tired way too easy and my butt hurt from the chair. And I found that whenever I take two weeks off of writing, I get back and my body feels awkward. I get tired way easier and my butt hurts from sitting in the chair. I think when it comes to being an artist, it's not about waiting for the ideas to find you. It's not about sitting around and hoping that something will strike and then you'll burst forward into this huge output of creative activity. To me, it's not like that at all. It's about mentally, physically, emotionally engaging with your craft day after day after day after day. Those one or two things are critical to your life as a professional artist because amateurs sit around and wait for things to happen. Professionals make the time to make things happen. And once you form that daily habit in your own life, honestly, I don't know what can stop you. To be honest, I, I think Ryan and I were all behind the idea of the show this week is just this mug, like sitting in, in the screen. I mean, look at this. This is incredible. This is what you want. I have all of your mugs to have like this level of character. And it's gonna help me answer this week's question of the week, which actually comes from Ryan. Ryan, on the way home from the airport, we, we had a cool conversation just getting to know each other. And one of the things he asked that I think a couple of you have asked before is, what does the day in the life of Todd look like? And actually, and Ryan can attest to this now, it's a lot more boring than you would think, <laughs> right? Because I am huge on the daily rituals. And so at five o'clock, 5 a.m. to 5.05, pretty much, I'm up and I'm writing. Like I do a little bit of stretching, I'll listen to some music, and then of course I get my coffee going. And then from 5.15 to 5.30, it's all handwritten stuff, right? Like no screens in the morning. I'm, I'm totally against that if I can help it because I feel like it jacks my process. And then from 5.30 to 6.30, hand or uh, typewriting a little bit and then a little bit of reading in there. And then pretty much the rest of the day is uh, work and family. Uh, Kate and I have a very average life. So it's, uh, it's groceries, it's cooking, it's doing some video editing. And then often for me, it's more writing. So I, I think if there's anything to take from that, it's like, uh, it, to me, it's the routine, right? It's build the routine. And the fact that I know what my days look like before I go into them helps me get started and it helps me finish. I would say that if you're watching this right now and you don't have a routine at all, it's that first hour of the day and it's that last hour of the day because I can't control much of what happens in between, but I can control those edges and whenever I can, definitely do. This week's Artist Spotlight goes directly on Martha Graham. Martha Graham is a dancer from the early 1900s, right? So 1920s, 1930s, she's coming onto the scene and making a name for herself. She's another one of these people that, that I love because her story is so unique, right? She becomes a dancer late in life, like age 20. She starts to figure it out. She picks it up quickly because she falls in love with it. She moves to Broadway, right? Like she's getting well paid. She's doing pretty well in her craft. And then all of a sudden she realizes like, this is not what I want. 
And so she breaks away from the Broadway scene where she was sitting in the lap of pretty much what most dancers and most artists in general hope for, which is to wind up with a bunch of paying audiences waiting to see you do what you do. But she decides, nah, this is not for me. I'm going to go do it alone. And when I was researching her, I found this quote that I have to share with you guys. And it's, dancers do not become great because of their technique. They become great because of their passion. And I love that quote because to me, that's what being an artist always comes back to, right? I, I think a lot of us, sometimes we, we grow up and we take our artistic talent for granted, right? And in this day and age, like commercialism and, and capitalism, like we get a job and we start to, to use our craft and start to squeeze kind of the life out of it and, and get dollars from it or whatever. But I think it's about generating that passion. If you can hold on to that childlike passion and wonder that you found the first time you picked up a pen or, or a brush, or first time you felt your fingers across the keyboard and realized, I can do this, like this is a thing for me, this fits me. To me, it's about waking up and remembering that feeling every morning and remembering that passion and that energy to bring it to your art every day. Because whenever you quit doing that, that's when it becomes really tough to make a name for yourself and really tough to do art that you can be proud of. Thank you so much for watching this episode of Finish Friday. Before you go, answer this week's Ask the Audience, what's your daily routine look like? I'm curious to know. I'm always trying to pick up little tricks and see what you guys are into. So pop that answer into the comments below. Before you go, don't forget to hit thumbs up if you love this show. Once again, I'm Todd B. from Tennessee, and I will talk with you next week. Oh, 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 oh,